Hey, good afternoon. It's Mark Kolak with African Queen Restorations. I'm working on my half track, and what I'm doing is training, changing out half track. Uh, I didn't see any decent videos on on uh, YouTube, so I thought I'd see if I could shoot a video. It's my first time at doing something like this for something like this. So, just want to show you where we're at here. Uh, I had the opportunity to watch a World War II training film two gentlemen putting a track on and they did it less than nine minutes I uh, got my track off here the other day in 35 minutes by myself but let me show you what we're doing here uh, two things this uh, a bracket and uh, bolt here are basically designed to take the slack out of the track with the adjuster what I've done to assist myself with that is I put uh, a couple of spring compressors on either side and I'll put a link in my uh, video as to where I bought those springs. got them on Amazon and actually they they really work very well. can't use an impact wrench. After that I went ahead and jacked my track up. Uh, I've seen a video, a little video where they actually put the jack into the corner up here. I'm using my crossbar. It's it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not too worried about the track coming down. Two things I've noticed though: my bogies are frozen up. Uh, right now, these neither one of these bogies will move, and I had snapped off this shaft on my back bogie, and that's probably the reason why. So I'll go ahead and take these apart and uh, get them loosened up so they they move up and down on the pivot. Uh, neither one of them seem to be moving up and down. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull my uh, outer sprocket off and then uh, jack this up a little bit higher and we're going to go ahead and uh, actually I probably am probably high enough to go ahead and pull the, the track off but uh, just wanted to show you the setup uh, keeping it simple similar to what they did in the uh, training film they just basically used a bottle jack uh, that had the old style the old style adjuster so that's quite an advantage because you didn't have this big spring and all you had to, was a link that uh, two nuts and the whole link dropped out and then the adjusting sprocket went forward. Unfortunately we uh, we have the spring here. But uh, your adjusting screw here works very well. I did take this all off, made sure everything was cleaned up and ready to go before we used it. And I'm using in a uh, socket at the end of mine to give myself a little more extension. Uh, I picked up another inch and that way I didn't have to run the uh, bolt all the way up. So basically that's that's the steps I've taken to get to the point to pull my track off. Sprock it off. We're going to go ahead and bring our track up. I got my brother Jeff helping me here today, which is really a big help. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, let's, this jack is air operated, which makes it a lot easier than just having to pump it. The Harbor Freight jack 
well worth the money. And actually, it's, uh, it works very well. I haven't had any issues with it. We're good. All right, as you can see, we're, we'll have enough clearance to slide the track under the bogey. Realize my center roller keeping me up a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just work this off like so. There we go. Front drive forward, a little slack here. Almost off, baby. So basically, there's about 25 minutes, maybe less, to get the track off by yourself. Wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I have help here, but somebody's got to hold the camera. Anyway, degree of difficulty, uh, it's not bad. I'm almost 65 years old, so uh, needless to say, it uh, it's off, and we've already pulled our hub and axle off our hub off here and pull our axle out. Next thing we'll do is we're going to take our sprocket off because I'm rebuilding my brakes. But that's pretty much how you get the half track track off. It is not that challenging. Uh, there is a degree of difficulty but it's just mostly leverage. A couple good tools, uh, a good couple of pry bars and, and a uh, good jack. Thanks.